Hello coders and welcome to another Renaissance Coders tutorial. My name is Darren and today we're going to be continuing our lessons in C-sharp fundamentals. Now I know I talked about doing methods this week, but I thought it might be best to first go over another type of conditional block called a switch statement. To demonstrate how a switch statement works, let's leave off with our last example from last week. We have a player health integer that holds the player's current health value. At different health values, we're going to print some information to the console, signifying to the player what their health status is. We use switch statements when we have a variable that is going to be changing values frequently. So let's start by typing C Sharp's keyword switch. Then we are going to use parentheses to hold the variable that is frequently changing. In this case, it's player health. Below this line, we are going to place some curly braces to hold our switch statement code. Within our switch statement curly braces, we are going to have a set of cases that dictate the value of our player health variable that is expected to turn up at any time. So type case followed by the value of player health that we might expect. We will start by looking at our health when it is at 50. After the value, place a colon. Now let's drop down to the next line and type C sharps keyword break followed by a semicolon. C Sharp's break statement is used when we want our program to skip to the line just after the closing curly brace of the block of code we are in. In other words, the break statement is going to get us out of the switch statement, because if we know that our case for player health is 50, we don't really care about checking the other cases. Okay, now in between the case and the break statement is where we are going to place our action. In this case, the, when the player health is 50, we will just print something to the screen. So create a console.writeLine that tells the player that they need to find some health. Run your program to test that the case gets reached. In switch statements, we can have as many cases as we want, as long as they are not the same value as a previous case, and as long as a break statement can be associated with it. Let's create another case to prove this. Our next case is going to check if the player health is 25. We will print something else out to the console this time. Now let's change the player health to 25 and run to see if we reach the correct case. You can also have multiple cases per break statement. This means we can test multiple values and run a single action based on those values. Let's demonstrate by checking every value of the player's health from 5 to 1. Now we can run an action that tells the player they are pretty much going to die. Now let's change the player's health to a value from 1 to 5 and run the program to test the case. There is one more thing to mention with switch statements, and that is the default keyword. Default is the default case that runs when all of our other cases are false. So while it may not apply well to our current example, we could place a default statement followed by a break containing a message to, to the player that their health is just fine. Change the player's health to a value other than any of the cases we created and run the program to test the default case. All right, so that's all there is to it. Switch statements are very convenient in many situations and they serve as a good alternative to if statements if you find yourself with a lot of if, else, if scenarios. As always, it's been a pleasure, everyone. If you are starting to follow the series and are getting overly confident, don't worry. I promise we will get to some of the more difficult topics down the road. But be sure to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos related to web and game development and various programming lessons. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial. Thanks for watching.